so we've already learned the definition of nucleic acid and then we also learned the classification of nucleic acid that is in your dna and rna let us come back and learn one more uh, small concept called nucleoside and nucleotide right so when i say or when i speak about nucleoside and when i speak about nucleotide right just uh, see nucleoside basically is a combination of pentose or sugar yes plus your base pairs yes your base pairs uh, this is your purines and pyrimidines when i speak about nucleotide nucleotide in con con contains three units or it constitutes three units one well, pentose sugar first one along with that base pairs also is the same and after along with this the most important thing phosphate bonds or which forms the phosphodiester linkages it also has phosphate linkage of phosphate bonds yes. all right most importantly you have to remember now i said when i gave you the definition i said dna is or the nucleic acid that particular nucleic acid is a structurally or biologically significant nucleotide polymer i said so our dna is a nucleotide yes it is a nucleotide it has three units in its structure right now using this particular thing let us see the structure and also see where the base pairs lie and where are the phosphate linked right so let us let us erase this and learn or start with the representation of nucleotide so nucleo tied when i say first important thing you have i said it is present in dna correct so now this dna contains one pentose sugar right that pentose sugar is a deoxyribose deoxy it is a pentose sugar and it is a deoxyribose that means in its structure where i have already shown you the structure in my first i think first or second video types of monosaccharides please go and see that so in deoxyribose now this is your pentose sugar yes so you have yeah you are also you are also here and now this is your 1 2 3 this is your fourth carbon and this is your fifth carbon yes now observe now first one h no h where did i say it forms a cyclic structure and from that there's a shift of uh, hydrogen so that is why i got this please uh, go through the structure once and in the second one h and h third one h and oh fourth h and ch2oh observe carefully this is your dna structure deoxyribose so in ribose what will happen the structure is the same in ribose but only difference is in the second carbon you have oh okay let us see that also yeah so in rna how does it look basically rna it looks like now exactly the same structure o oh, Oh, the same thing here in the first carbon and in the second carbon you here your h and here you have oh this is called deoxyribose this is called ribose h and oh third one h and ch2oh now observe carefully here what happened in the second carbon there was no o oxygen that's why it is called a deoxyribose but here there is oxygen in the second carbon right so it is called ribose sugar the ribose uh, syndicate so remember this important difference now after this <coughs> you have to remember where are these base pairs linked right now i said nucleotide is a combination of a sugar pentose sugar which i have drawn after this i have to draw the base pairs base pairs and i have to draw show the phosphate correct yeah now here what happens <coughs> if i take this dna at this particular point correct by condensation right i will see the hydrogen mole here the, you have a base pair linking correct now what happens suppose if you have a purine here in the next parallel to this you have i said your adenine always pairs with thymine correct now adenine pairs with thymine by a double bond the hydrogen bond condensation the adenine pairs with thymine and again you have your again same the same structure same pentose uh, sugar structure like this and this is the thing but it will be in a reverse order i should not draw like this it will be in this order it will be like this 
yes so biology students will very well know this so this particular link adenine is linking with thiamine again then after that your guanine links with cytosine so what are the base pairs in dna adenine is linking with thiamine guanine is linking with cytosine this is your combination in dna now <laughs> here what happens i have now i'm done with pentose i'm done with the base pairs now i have to show the phosphate linkages phosphate exactly by the condensation of water molecule it's going to form p double bond o o minus here o minus and this is your o okay phosphate linkage of phosphodiester we we'll learn this how did i condense the molecule so basically remember in a dna molecule in a nucleotide it has three parts pentose sugar one the base pairs one yes it's linking with a will always link with t g will always pair up with c right and on the other side at the fifth carbon position you have the phosphate linkage yes so this is what you have to remember that's why i said purines and pyrimidines a is always linking with t g is always linking with c right then but in case of rna adenine links with thiamine but instead of uh, uh, no adenine we don't have uh, thiamine here there what do we have instead of thiamine you have uracil combination correct so you don't have thiamine in rna you have only uracil in combination remember that so right so now, now uh, we've already seen what is nucleoside in nucleotide now let us come back and learn what is how how do we how do we form a nucleotide right so we already said dna is a significantly biological nucleotide we said and you know, we also said there are they include three parts one is your pentose sugar one is your uh, nitrogenous base and other is a phosphate linkage now we are going to show what are phosphodiester linkages right so first remember for that basically important you have try to make a pentose sugar right pentose sugar correct <coughs> all uh, linked here right So now, now start numbering one, two, your three, your four, and five. In the fifth one, you have C H two O H. Correct? Yeah. In the third uh, carbon, you have H and O H. Correct? Exactly. Now we very well know here it's linked with your suppose uh, if I say a base pair. Right. Suppose you speak about purines and pyrimidines linking. Right. If I take this as uh, your adenine and one as a uh, thiamine, so one base pair there. And here again, pick up one more pentose sugar. I have to show what I have to show the formation of two nucleotides linked by a phosphodiester bond. Again, you have and you have a base pair here. Right. Suppose if you are assuming. Uh, if we are assuming adenine linking with thiamine okay right now here also you have h and oh right h and h in the third carbon you have h and oh now in the fourth one you have your hydrogen and c h2 oh now observe carefully i said base pair fine correct i have pentose sugar correct i have to show the phosphate linkage now observe now this is your fifth carbon 5 prime this is your third carbon 3 prime now again this is your fifth carbon this is your third carbon now above the 5 prime carbon try to make phosphate bonds what are phosphate how from where am i getting you are first going to take phosphoric acid what is phosphoric acid how is the structure looking like phosphoric acid is basically phosphorus fine your 1 2 3 and four bonds correct we very well know in phosphoric uh, acid uh, the structure there is a double bond oxygen yes all the three are oh group oh oh and h correct h3 po4 done yes now observe carefully now i am just cleaving this bond here i am cleaving this bond here and making this minus and this is minus done now your hydrogen in the first step your hydrogen and water first gets eliminated done done here also you have to form a phosphodiester bond fine so again phosphorus double bond oxygen same thing double bond oxygen here is one bond here is one more bond right now here also is the one because you have already taken out that water right so h is here now it is like this right or 3 oh 3 oh correct now what did i do i took out water molecule from here correct yes now i'm cleaving this bond and making this minus fine now observe your oh and your h again gets eliminated 
observe carefully here i've eliminated a, uh, one more water molecule here i've eliminated one water molecule here i've eliminated one water molecule and i've condensed i'm going to condense it and write it in the form of a dinucleotide so how should i write the dinucleotide try to pick up one here pick up one here and here and show it now try to make the base pentose sugars this is one okay now this is one more your pentose sugar okay done yes now how should you show the linkage in the first case here number it this is fourth carbon this is your fifth carbon five prime fine so in the fifth carbon what do you have you have your ch2 correct yes now what else is here ch2 is linked with o observe your phosphorus is like that double bond o o minus o minus 5 prime phosphodiester bond okay then after that come down what do we have here we had h now oh in that oh h is already gone so take that oxygen here observe carefully this has got eliminated yeah so what are you left with this oxygen is linking this phosphorus phosphorus correct this is double bond o this is o minus done now what are we left with now this hydrogen and this water oh is gone you're left with one more oxygen link this oxygen you have to link this oxygen to this ch2 done your h is already there h and oh is here which will condense further this also has bonds this also has bonds here you have one purines base pairs one pyrimidines correct now observe carefully this is called your phosphodiester bond this is called your phosphodiester bond phosphodiester linkage always we, we used to say 3 prime 5 prime linkage no now observe carefully 3 prime 5 prime linkage observe 3 prime 5 prime 5 prime 3 prime so this is how we want to show the 3 prime 5 prime 5 prime 3 prime phosphodiester linkages so remember carefully whenever formation of dinucleotide is given first write what what does it contain yes it's going to contain pentose sugar it's going to contain base pairs it contains phosphate linkages after writing this start showing this one pentose sugar one pentose sugar purines and pyrimidines linkage show that i already said a a with t and guanine with cytosine so draw that phosphoric acid this is your phosphoric acid take out water molecule here take out water molecule remember phosphorus and ch2 linked by co diester phosphorus and ch2 linked with oxygen diester bond this is how we are going to show formation of nucleotide